everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for a full self-driving video for 11.8.1, sorry, 11.4.8.1, numbers getting long. Um, this is my first full self-driving video in quite some time. Um, one, I've been super busy, two, there's really been no updates, so I've just been kind of bored. So we're going to try the new one st press stock um, enable full self-driving. There's a person on my side of the road. What's it gonna do here? Oh, he's backing it. Okay, anyways. Um, so, I, I'm really glad they added that because I don't know about anyone else. It's a pet peeve of mine when people drink <laughs> and they like jam down the stock super fast and like feel like they're gonna snap the stock off. I don't know why that drives me insane, but at least now you can press it once and it enables it. So maybe those people will stop trying to destroy their stocks. I, that, I don't know if that bugs anyone else, but it bugs me a ton. Um, let's see what it's gonna do. This is our alternate Carl Sandburg route. This morning they're still doing construction on that road, which I honestly kind of like this route better, at least for testing. I like this route better just because it's poor, poor weather detected. No, there's a car behind me, tilting me. Which they're kind of slow, so they're not gonna <laughs> speed up getting up on the highway. I think the camera is probably a little bit fogged over. Um, which, can't really tell. Still doesn't want to change blinkers to get onto the highway. But, um... Yeah, just that, I'm pretty sure that is illegal in some places. You're supposed to turn uh, single to get onto the highway. But I don't know if that is here or not. But we're just going to kind of let it cruise and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, I hope everyone has been having an awesome uh, Thanksgiving and everything. I know I haven't made any videos in like a good month or so. And it looks like we're going through some smoke. So someone's probably, because of the rain, they're burning leaves. Oh, also. I should note, I just put, um, what's, uh, oh yeah, okay, we're closed. I just put tires on. Um, winter tires. And our pressures are quite low, so I'll fill that up when I get back home. But at least they're not low enough to drive on. But, um, yeah, so I just put, um, the Pirelli winter tires that you can buy from Tesla. They're all brand new. I've had them for, what, three years now, I think. Um, and this will either this year or next year will be the last year. Next year for sure will be the last year I um, drive before I get get them replaced with Michelin Isex tires. Um, that is what I've found to be, based on my research, it's probably the best um, tire you can get for the 18-inch wheel in the, the Mon uh, Cream. Unless you drive in significant snow all the time, then the Hakulita R5 from Nokian are probably better. But that's only if you drive in snow all the time. The Michelins are gonna be better for my climate where I really don't drive in snow. Honestly, I should be getting cross climate twos for our winter. Um, but when I wanna go out in the snow, I wanna go out in the snow and be safe. And you need some snow tires to achieve that. So I don't think you, I, I mentioned the speed limit here. It doesn't read electronic speed limit signs. As you can see, I wonder if it's going to uh, change lanes because this truck is going five over as well, and it shouldn't change lanes. So that's something that that's been here for weeks now. Uh, that speed limit change, and it's just it it doesn't read it ever. Not one time I've gone into town, probably 10 times so far since since it's been put up. It's never read it.
cool and dangerous work. They have the, the barrier off the bridge. You can see right over the bridge. This is gonna be a um, three lane. Well, I think it's gonna be two lanes still, but uh, eventually one day, all of this is gonna be three lane right here on each side. That's the long term goal. So they're they're going ahead and remodeling the bridge and preparing it for that three lane highway. And my guess is that would go all the way down to Columbus and then split back to two lanes. But that'll be. I will. I'm glad I work from home, put it that way, because I will not want to be the um, drive any construction on this every single day. Though it sucks for me to have to go into town, I'll have to deal with it still. But uh, I, at least there's at least one alternative way to get around the construction into town, which takes a few minutes longer. See how it does getting off the highway? I've noticed it's been swinging off the highway. So that's that's better. That's improved. This this section right here has been just kind of swinging off the highway. So that's that's more improved. Man, that truck was close. See if it maintains a little bit higher speed around here. It seem, to me it slows down too much. But I mean, I like going around curves fast, and I'm used to it. So maybe for someone that's not used to it, this is this feels comfortable to them, and it feels fine. As long as it doesn't slow down anymore. Like this is like, no, it should not be going any slower. And it should go ahead and now start speeding back up. Goes. I wonder if they changed the nag. It seems like they might have changed the nag. It's like they made it a little bit less. Okay, well, if you're going to turn the blinker on, you need to turn the blinker on. It's, it's probably because of this degrading message. It should it should have got over right there, and I think it's because of this degrading message, because it has this fog. Maybe they fixed the wipers. Please hope they fixed the wipers. Uh, the wipes so far, this drive, have been appropriate. But, um, it's been wiping when it's been... Every time I notice the, the sky gets overcast is when it would just wipe. It, it's like it pays attention to the sky and it's like, okay, well, I think it's gonna rain. I'm just gonna go ahead and prematurely wipe a dry windshield, <laughs> even though it's it, it's not raining yet. It's, it's because it's like it reads the fog in the air or something and thinks it's raining. It's, that, that's the only assumption I can do. They probably added a new AI model for auto wipers and it's going based on what it sees in the weather outside and so it tries to wipe that way. So hopefully this version has been retrained and updated. So it needs to be already. See, it's why is it accelerating? This no, this is not good. <laughs> it's not done that. It should not reaccelerate getting off the highway. I don't know why it does that. So that's one of the worst things so far. Everything else has been good, as good or better, but that's worse. Let's see how it does. Okay, it should. Freaking complete stop. Okay. Oh my god, go car. <laughs> There's a car coming up behind me. That's a lot closer than it seems in the camera. And my car just kind of like stuck its nose out and just kind of sat there in the middle of the road for a second. But at least it stayed in the right lane. Previous versions would like figure out do I get in the right lane? Do I get in the left lane? Do I get in the right lane? Do I get in the left lane? Because of this turn coming up, it thinks it want to immediately get in the left lane, but it doesn't need to. It's far enough away that it should get in the right lane and then change lanes like it did right here. Let's see how it handles this blinking yellow. Is it going to be smooth? Nope. It's not going to be smooth. Brake too hard. And it's smooth after the brake. Like, this is smooth. Something I wanted to just note for those curious about changing tires between all season and um, winter tires. 
or at least these specific tires. My old season tires are Pilot Sport 4, old season 4, so about as close as you can get the summer tires without being summer tires. Um, and then these are Pirelli Soto Zero Three winter tires. And it's interesting because I put them on last night and I didn't drive after. And so these, the, the noise is a little bit better. They seem slightly quieter. And that same port what the detective is seeing the fog in the air. You can see a little bit of fog, and, it, and that's the reason why it says poor weather, even though it's not raining right now. So it's, it's interesting that it reads the fog in the air. But yeah, the Soto Zero tires seem a little bit more soft and comfortable, but the, also that's probably because of the lower PSI. My other ones are at 44, I think, or at least 2 or 3 PSI higher. Um, so that's probably why they feel more comfortable, and the noise is a little bit less on these, which might or might not be because they're a little bit more worn. And they, these have the foam inside; the others do not, so that that might help. Otherwise, this is this is doing good right in here. No complaints. We don't have any cars, unfortunately, coming on us. This this area right here is kind of where it would have the oncoming braking issue with narrow roads, with Chuck and Mike would see. Let's see how we can do right here. I don't see any cars coming. You can tell that it's interesting how they're managing to handle um, uh, blind, kind of blind turns like that. There's a tree in the way, so you can't. I can't really see until the nose is out in the road, and I know it can't see. So it, it, you kind of can tell it turned the wheel to try and get a better view. And that's that's the only way I think they can solve the camera placement issue. Well, and when I say solve, like improve, it's not going to solve it. There's still going to be issues no matter where you go without further facing cameras, uh, further forward side facing cameras. But uh, most areas, it's not going to stop them from doing full self driving. Like that's the current camera placement can do a robo taxi. Can it do it everywhere? No, I don't think so. I, I think you're gonna have geofenced areas where it's gonna work. You're gonna you're gonna be able to drive into a city and just enable. And it's just gonna start driving by itself, and then you it'll go from like level three to level four, and you just won't have to pay attention then once you're in a certain geofenced area, because it knows in this area it's not gonna have an issue. Versus like areas around here where you have blind turns, it might it might be like okay, we're not gonna take this road because we know can't safely commit it something like that and sadly what, what's gonna happen I'm gonna make this call on video someone will get in an accident before Tesla makes that change I'm calling it and potentially it, that would be the best case scenario the worst case is someone dies before they make that change to geofence out blind corners that are just not safe with the current camera placement I'm making that call right now someone will either get hurt or die before they make that change. That's just, they're just unwilling to admit the cameras cannot see around blind turns and it's not safe. If all cars were over taxis, it'd be fine because then you could trust the other cars gonna stop. But I'm not gonna trust another human to stop. It's just not, not realistic to trust another person that's gonna see you and stop when you're poking your nose out in the middle of the road. Otherwise this, feels super smooth on this road right here. No complaints at all. Let's see if it's going to stop for a right on red. It has every other time. After the first time it did this, they corrected it. They did something over the air without an update and it corrected this red light. And it hasn't failed since. So we're going to see. Yep. We're good. So yeah, it's, it's exactly what it should do. Also, Did they fix this? And the map data is the same. I'm gonna try and let it. They must. I don't know. Someone must have been watching me. If you're watching my videos, Tesla, whoever fixed that, thank you so much. Oh, okay. That braked really hard right there. I had to press the accelerator a little bit because there was a car. I knew there was a car behind me. Damn. Okay. Um. 
Now, I, that, that happened way too quickly. What? Okay. I'm gonna do a snapshot here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I fishtailed. I'm pretty sure the back end of the car fishtailed right there. <laughs> Um, because I'm on my snow tires, and they have way less traction on wet ground than my, um, my other tires. That sucks. I wanted to see. It's, it was going to drive in here automatically. I'm sorry, Dougie. But, wow. Um, that was exciting. Um, uh, yeah. I, 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 that happened so quickly, I didn't know what happened. So, if the dash cam footage is exciting, I will put that in the video so you can see. If not, I won't put it. But uh, everyone, yeah, that was very new. And I don't know if this call that a good or bad thing. You tell me. Because what it did is it... it I think I was pressing the accelerator. I don't even remember it happened. So I've never had that happen before. I think I was pressing the accelerator. And... It was going through the intersection, saw that truck, and automatically corrected back to my lane. It's never done that. Normally, it would just continue on. I wanted it to keep going through that intersection, and then it decided halfway in the intersection, it was going to turn back in the lane and stop turning. I've never had that happen before. I don't... That was unexpected, and... Yeah. Okay, so be careful of that, everyone. That's, that's very... Yeah. Well, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.